Hello Internet, my name is Catherine and today I'm making a very important video. How to love yourself even when you have imperfections. Everyone has imperfections. Models have imperfections. Celebrities have imperfections. Everyone you can think of has imperfections. So there's no reason that you shouldn't. You are your harshest critic. That's something my mom says to me all the time. You know, we look at ourselves in the mirror. We get so close and personal with our bodies and we just tear ourselves down. You know, we look in the mirror and we're like, I have a zit here and my hair is frizzy there and this is wrong and that's wrong and none of it is wrong. It's just you. And there's nothing wrong with being you. Everyone has stretch marks. Everyone has cellulite. Everyone has things that they don't like about themselves. I have cellulite. I have stretch marks. There are days when I look at my stomach and I'm like, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. I feel disgusting. And I shouldn't. I shouldn't feel gross for having my body. We are the only people that can take care of our bodies. You know, we're with our bodies from the day we're born till the day we die. So why should we do anything but love it? My body has done nothing but protect me and make me grow into this amazing young woman that I am and you know, give me all these options. I can go running and I can walk and I can talk and sing and dance and my body has given me so many opportunities and I sit here and I degrade it. Why do we do that? Your body is a temple and you have to treat it like it's a temple. You have to treat it like it's your best friend because it is. Why wouldn't you be your own best friend? We see ourselves at our best and we see ourselves at our worst. And we need to learn to love ourselves regardless. I find it really helpful to look in the mirror every day and say three things that I like about myself. Sometimes it's physical things, sometimes it's just my personality, but you need to love yourself. You need to put yourself first and realize that these imperfections, these flaws, these things that you don't like about yourself, nobody else even notices. Imagine if we talked about other people the way we talked about ourselves. She's fat, she's ugly, her acne looks disgusting, her hair is frizzy, that outfit doesn't match. We would never say those things, hopefully, to other people. So why are we saying it to ourselves? Everybody has bad days, everybody has great days. I know there are days when you look in the mirror and you're like, why? Why do I look like that? But you look like that because you're you. And there's nothing wrong with being you. Put good, positive things into your body. And your body's gonna bring good, positive things out for you. Everybody just had flawless skin and perfect hair and super toned bodies and we were all tan and blonde and blue eyed and all looked the same. Would we feel any better about ourselves? Because I don't think we would. I used to hate my stretch marks. I hated them. I have them on my hips, on my back, on my chest and I used to hate it. I used to think it was gross. And it's not. It's my body growing because bodies grow. And that's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I used to hate the acne that I got, but I was a teenager, so why wouldn't I get acne? Like every teenager gets acne. It's like part of being a teen. I used to hate my hair because it was frizzy and messy and uncontrollable and now I like it this way. If you leave this video and you know only take one thing with you, take that you should love yourself. Regardless of whatever goes on out here, in there, out there, you need to love you. I've just been thinking about this for a while. You know, like, why do we look at our body? Like, before this video, I was like, oh my gosh, my makeup is splotchy, my hair doesn't look good, my pores are gigantic, and I'm like, this is why you're making this video. Because 
you look at yourself and you name all the bad things that you see opposed to all the great things that you see. I'm a strong, independent woman and I'm getting my education and I'm working and I have time for my friends and I'm beautiful, so why don't I say it more? You know? All right, well, that was my video. If you like videos about this and want to see more stuff on confidence or how I got confident or anything like that, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. I make new videos every single Saturday and I'd love to have you. All right, well, I hope you have a great day. Bye.